what is going on guys thanks for stopping back by the channel the auto shop life so for me today's sunday i'm gonna knock out a few things today and take you guys with for the ride check it out shut up and sit down All right, guys. So Sunday morning, got a couple things to do. Um, gonna probably make this one business side slash everybody loses a tool. So I'm gonna try to knock out two birds with one stone. Um, know if you guys catch that video from yesterday, the new guy's toolbox tour. At the end of that, you guys know he lost one of my flashlights, and he remembers. I mean, that's the whole point of it. We've all we've all lost tools. We've all had to replace tools because they're either lost, misplaced stolen whatever it is they grow legs walk out of the shop you know one of the biggest pet peeves of mine is having to replace a tool especially after i you know already maybe bought one or two the second time or third time around um but stan remembers where he has it and it's great because being a business owner you try to stay one step ahead of you know kind of your surrounding and what's going on try to know what to expect as far as you know getting the work to come in you know, keeping the customers happy, making sure your inventory is good, making sure you, you, you know, you got money to pay your bills, things like that. But uh, I got a fleet account that uh, usually take care of on the weekends. Um, it's a it's a bus account, little short buses. I gotta usually go pick them up on you know Saturday. I'll bring them here, knock out whatever I gotta knock out, and then I drive it back to where Monday they have it to pick up the kids and all that stuff. It's a local daycare. Um, but he thinks he left the flashlight on that. And we had just done work on that car. We did some brake lines, um, did an oil change on it, did a few other couple things it had. It's starting to rust up, so there's little coolant lines hanging underneath we had to take care of. Well, she called me maybe Thursday. We did that last week. She called me maybe Thursday, said, coincidentally, the check engine light popped on. So me, me just working on it, obviously, you know, I told her I'll take care of it. We didn't have time yesterday to go pick it up on Saturday, or well, Saturdays like we usually do. So I'm gonna shoot over that way, see if my light's under it. I got the old cold code reader here, a little pocket code reader by launch. You guys have seen this in some of my videos. Just grab a quick one real quick to get a head start on this thing. And that way, maybe I could do a research, kind of see what it is, get a heads up on it. So if I set something up for next weekend or this prior weekend coming up, because sometimes they, you know, one of the one of the bus drivers will come here, stop here on their lunch break. You know, if something easy, quick to knock out, I'm still waiting on one of the backup beepers for that bus and other things. Maybe I can knock out two birds with one stone if I get ahead it, if I get a heads up on this thing. So, take you guys with for the ride. Hopefully that that light's on there. It was an eighty dollars snap on light, and uh, probably just throw it to if it is under there. We'll just throw it to him because, like I said, he did replace my light already. But you know, I feel bad for him. I, I'm hoping it's still under there. The magnets are usually pretty strong. I mean, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys lose that flashlight, you get that that sinking feeling in the bottom of your stomach. But we're gonna head on over there, hop in the truck, shoot on down there. It's a bit of ways. Take you guys with for a ride. <clears throat> Scan this thing. See if we get a head start on what the check engine light may be. Is it our fault? Is it something coincidental? You know, we'll see. Those those buses are rusting up pretty bad, and uh, you know they are thinking about getting rid of them. But we'll see what it is. So let's jump in the truck, head on down there. down there appreciate you guys with coming for the ride or else I'd be talking to myself um, but well I guess well, I guess I'm talking to my I'm talking to a camera so I guess you can consider that talking to myself but talking to you guys um, just want to bring up a couple of things so obviously as a business owner you got to strategize it's 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 I can't say you know it's like you got to treat it like a chess game you know and you know the reason that I do this on a Sunday you know early in the morning and try to beat traffic you know I don't want to take away from family time so you know I got a couple minutes today um, I knew I had to do this yesterday just got a little busy at the shop and I mean that's another good point to a video is you know trying to make enough time you know as a business owner you can never have enough time so trying to make enough time to get everything done get everything handled 
you know, you got to balance that in your life. What, no matter what it is, you got to make sacrifices and uh, and everything else, and expect the unexpected. But you know, my plan in this, I just want to get a good head start on this check engine light. And who's to say? It might be something simple, but the reason why I do it is I'm one step ahead. You know, that way I know what the code is. You know, I can do my research, whatever it is. If I feel you know, I'm not going to be sitting out there in the cold and diagnosing this thing, but, you know, they, they did leave the key in there for me. So, you know, I can't start it, run through it. If it's a misfire or whatever it is, um, you know, I'll be able to check it out. That way, when they call me on Monday, um, you know, I, I didn't blow them off. You know, they, they see that the bus wasn't moved. I was supposed to pick it up Saturday, but, you know, you could tell them, hey, I dropped by there and, uh, you know, definitely got a head start on it. This is where I'd like to go from there. You know, and that's the thing. You know, knocking out two birds with one stone, obviously grabbing that flashlight is another good reason I'm taking the trip. But, you know, when, when they call me, I want to let them know kind of, you know, what to expect, maybe plan something with them, you know, and squeeze it in the time that I do have. You know, even if it is on a Sunday, you know, whatever day of the week, you know, being a business owner, you're pretty much always running your business. You know, even on vacation, you're probably taking in calls and, and worrying about this and that and the other thing. You know, it, so it's... It's, it's a lifestyle, it's, 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 it's my life. I have to run these businesses, this stuff has to get done. You know, I don't wanna put it on anybody else. No one else cares the way I do or as you would do if you owned your own business. You know, it, it, the responsibility is only gonna fall into the hands of whoever cares. So, you know, that's part of being a business owner, making stuff, making sure stuff gets done when it's supposed to get done. You know, making sure that, you know, your customers are happy and you're doing all the things you're supposed to do. Um, you know, there's a whole lot you could say about it. Obviously, being a business owner, there's a few things you have to do. Um, and I've said it in my other videos, you know, obviously, even though, even though I feel like I'm the boss, I still get told what to do, whether that's by a customer, whether that's by, you know, the IRS, whether that's by my wife, whether that's by anybody, I still get told what to do no matter what. I'm still answering the people. Um, you know, it doesn't matter how much you make, it doesn't matter how good you are or what you do, you know, you, you always got to make sure work gets done, the stuff gets done, whether you like to do it or not. But we'll get cruising over there. Um, they're probably maybe three miles from the shop, four miles from the shop, a couple towns over. So as soon as we get there, we'll fire up the camera, crawl underneath that bus first and foremost, see if that flashlight's under there, and then uh, give this thing a scan, see what we could find on it. So. So as you can see, we made it, and before I get out and scan this thing and see if that flashlight's under there, I'm going to take you guys with me because I'm real curious to see if that flashlight's under there, but a few more points I want to bring up. You know, obviously, you know, doing something like this on a Sunday, you know, talking about it's a lifestyle, you know, is this something that I would rather not be doing? Yeah, I mean, I probably, I probably only woke up two, three hours ago, you know, I want to be five towns from my house on a Sunday. No, I'd rather be sitting in bed, hanging with the kids and all that. And I mean, that's the thing about being a business owner, getting back to it. You know, I, we probably haven't take, taken a, a solid vacation in probably about six years. You know, a lot of that's due to the business, but also, you know, having small kids, it's a little rough. It's, uh, you know, it, it's a fiasco just going to the grocery store with maybe two of them. Um, but you know, it, it, it just goes to show, you know, it, it, as a business owner, having a shop like mine, or, you know, maybe a smaller business where you can't put the responsibility in the hands of someone else, or you're not paying somebody, you know, or you can't trust somebody, you know, you got to do it yourself. You know, it, sick days are out of the question. You know, I don't get sick days. I don't get, you know, paid leave time. I don't get personal days, things like that. You know, the show must go on. So a lot of pros, a lot of cons, things like that. But Put these videos out there you got for you guys to know what to expect from it you know obviously we'll get there one day you know and i talk about other shops i talk about growing the business and then you know there's a little bug in the back of my mind that feels like you know stay smaller stay you know as long as my bills are getting paid and my kids are eating and we're paying bills you know i i would think a smaller shop you know is less stress to deal with less things to deal with but you know, again, I, I do want to grow. I do want to. I do want another shop. I do want to have maybe a crew run that, or maybe when my kids get old enough, they could run a shop. Therefore, when I retire, you could sell more and you have more equity in the company and things. But 
just something to think about all these points you know you bring up it's uh you know it's definitely makes for a good video definitely makes for good content especially you guys out there you know thinking about running your own shop or running your own business at that it doesn't need to be an auto repair shop it could be a body shop a clothing line clothing shop you know whatever it is you know repair small motors it it, it all goes in the same way you know you're running a business you have to make time for that business treat it like a child treat it like a baby you know treat it you know treat it as a bank account that that you know if that wasn't there anything else that has to tie into that wouldn't be there either so but we're gonna jump out let's crawl underneath this thing and see if this flashlight's there give this thing a quick scan and uh, wrap this thing up all right guys so I had to turn the camera off and crawl around in the dirt on a Sunday but as you can see I did find it It's dead, but the magnet held on, and we got the snap-on flashlight back. So let's get out of this, wipe this dirt off, and get this thing scanned. Let's see what we got here. This launch is pretty quick for the protocols, but just something quick. Like I said, guys, it's not like I want to sit out here and diagnose this thing, but just to get a heads up on what we got going on. Definitely got a code in it. Uh, PO449 EVAP system vent valve control circuit. Uh, PO449. So I'm wondering, <clears throat> I'm going to have to check, but I'm wondering, you know, since we're under there, if we bump the wire or something like that, unplug something on accident while we're doing those brake lines and, uh, you know, getting that cool, those coolant, those rear coolant hoses tied back up there, zip tied back up there because the straps obviously rotted out. Um, I'm gonna have to check that real quick, but you know, it definitely gives me a head start on what we got going on here. Let me get under there and see. All right, guys, so heading back now. Um, I would have took the camera underneath there, but it got it was pretty dark and uh, you know, rolling around in that dirt ain't fun. I don't want to drop the camera and break stuff, but uh. You could definitely see, you know, I kind of, we had the PO 449, so I kind of just, just checking plugs, seeing seeing what was going on, if there was any corrosion, because Lord knows there's rust under there, but it looked like right where it plugs into the solenoid, the vent solenoid, the plug was slightly off, it wasn't locked in, and I'm guessing that's what's going to cause the code, but it was right where we did the brake line, so, you know, obviously something like this ain't coincidental. Um, I was able to shoot over there on my time and fix it. You know, obviously that is our mistake, but you know, mistakes do happen, right? Kind of a little bit up where we found the flashlight. You guys can see that we retrieved, which is awesome. Um, you know, right where we routed the brake line, the plug came off of the, the vent solenoid. And I do remember on this vent solenoid, I've done, I did it a few months ago. Uh, they have a few different buses. Um, they have a few different of the same buses. I think they have the same same exact bus, same year, same make, same model as uh, that one, but like one VIN off. So you know it's uh, it's hard to keep track of you know the fleet accounts and what I do on them. But I, I believe it looked newer. It didn't have undercoating on it and all that stuff. So I probably definitely replaced that. And then uh, you know just having the routing that extra pigtail that uh, they have you buy because they changed the design on the pigtails on those GM. Uh, vent fail vent solenoids you know it got bumped and it was unplugged so hopefully that took care of it plugged it back in for him you know double checked everything else cleared the light for him i'll call him on monday and say hey you know no need we'll see if the light comes back on no need to drag this thing down to the shop and you know go through a diag for you know a, a quick honest mistake that i was able to take care of so you know definitely worth the trip definitely uh saves saves them gas guess definitely saves them time saves me time you know getting that into a shop probably at the worst time during the week but that just goes to show you know always try to be one step ahead you know expect the unexpected you know plan plan for the worst hope for the best you know it is what it is part of being a business owner but uh i'm gonna head back to the shop wrap this one up check you guys in a sec definitely didn't think this one was gonna turn into a uh you know how to avoid a comeback but you know it just goes to show you know you take the extra time you know granted i didn't want to go out there on a sunday i did want to get the flashlight back but uh you know figuring out that we left a plug unplugged, you know, mistakes happen. You know, it avoids a comeback. You know, I can let them know, hey, we bumped the line, took care of it, but glad you guys came with for the ride. Made a couple good business points, business side of it. 
I mean, you guys out there, you know, I keep doing these videos. You know, this this is a good point. You know, obviously following through with what you got to do, you know, taking care of business, never having a day off, never having a sick day until you set up, till you build it to where if you want a sick day, you got to entrust the responsibility into hands of whether it's another employee, a, a family member, you know, a worker, a coworker, whatever it is, you know, to run your business for you while you're sick or while you're on vacation or, you know, on your down and out days. But get this one wrapped up, head back to the house, dropped off the pocket scanner, that little launch scanner, great, definitely got the code we needed out of it, definitely figure it out. Like I said, I wish I could put the camera underneath, but uh, it was just too dark under there, you know, rolling around in my new hood, snap on hoodie in the dirt was bad enough. I didn't want to, you know, ruin the camera too. So as always guys, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Signing out.